Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual Spotlight Podcast. My name is Stephen Lewis, and in five minutes or less, I plan on encouraging and uplifting you with Bible verses, my personal writings, and more to give you a spiritual boost to your day. So get ready, because the spotlight is being turned on. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Spiritual Spotlight. We're continuing on with lessons from Colossians, and this is part three. And if you haven't listened to part one and two, I want to encourage you to make sure you do that. Hey, five minutes or less. Hey, sit back, have a cup of coffee, and listen to me chit-chatting about the Word of God. So here we go. We're going to step right in. We're jumping into this Colossians 3, verses 10 through 13. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your creator and become like him. In this new life, it doesn't matter if you are Jew or Gentile, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbaric, uncivilized, slave or free. Christ is all that matters and he lives in all of us. And since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tenderhearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Wow. Powerful passage right there. Isn't that something? You know, this is a very powerful passage from the Apostle Paul for all of us as followers of Jesus Christ. Putting on our new nature and being renewed as we learn to know our Creator should always be our goal. And we must focus on putting on the characteristics of the Holy Spirit, mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And most importantly, we must forgive others as the Lord has forgiven us. That one right there is so very important. If we do these things every day, our lives will be aligned with our Lord. Isn't that something? And it's just like looking at Galatians 5, 22 through 23 with the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Those qualities, that fruit, when we put that on, we show the world Jesus Christ daily. So we must remember that, folks. Sound good? Think about that. Apply those verses to your life daily. You will see a difference. Your family will see a difference. Your spouses will see a difference. Your children will see a difference. Your parents will see a difference. Trust me, your staff, your bosses at work, you put on these qualities, the qualities of Jesus Christ, and everything around you will change. And it's so important, especially in 2022, we need to do something new. Let's pray. So Heavenly Father, once again, hey, thank you so much for the Apostle Paul's writings. We thank you on how we can glean from them and learn from them and just apply them to our lives to become better men and women, young people, old, doesn't matter what age, we all can come to know you in a greater way as our Savior and Lord and walk in a path that shows people the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the mercy, the love, the forgiveness. So Heavenly Father, I pray for all those listening right now to the message. I pray that You'll just watch over them, protect them, and keep them safe and give them the strength and wisdom they need to be who you call them to be. And I thank you for all these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, thanks for tuning in, folks. As always, please do me a favor. Share the show with friends and family, as well as subscribe. Also, leave me some comments. I'd love to hear what you folks think about Spiritual Spotlight. Get in touch with me. Stephen Lewis, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-L-E-W-I-S, R-F-T at hotmail.com and go from there get connected folks hey god bless love to you all thanks for tuning in blessings and love take care of yourselves have a good one